Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Please come. Please come. Srinath, yes, sir. Get seated. Thank you, sir. Student, you are uh, you are taking history. Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell me yeah. some fascinating personality in history? Yes, Any sir. history? Yes. Why you like? Why he is fascinating? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, considering the history, uh, the Muhammad bin Tukluk is the most fascinating personality uh, who, has, who has really excited me too, sir. Why? Because uh, contemporary to his time, sir, his thoughts were very advanced, sir, in futuristic oriented, sir. Like uh, a tokenization of currencies and uh, make create, uh, trying to create a natural uh, frontier. These are uh, some very essential uh, qualities of a king to be uh, futuristic oriented, sir. This is the, one of the main quality which I like him uh, in Mohammed bin Tukluk, which has also uh, made me to attract him very much, sir. Uh, NCC, no? in yes, I have been in NCC, sir. NCC. Sir, uh, unity and discipline is the motto of NCC, sir. So recently, government introduced a scheme called Agnipa. Yes, sir. Agnipa yes, sir. Do you think it is necessary for the government to inject at a early age? Sir, regarding the Agnipa scheme, I think uh, the government has rightly uh, initiated the scheme, sir. It is also the need of the heart too, sir. So, Agnipat scheme is, uh, is an, uh, according to me, it be a uh, good scheme uh, for, for considering the uh, recent uh, current situation, sir. Because India might be facing uh, different fronts and uh, different fronts, uh, frontiers at the uh, eastern section and the western section, sir. So, uh, increasing the number of, uh, uh, increasing the number of personals for the uh, Armed personals are very much need of the house, sir. So I think that Agnipat scheme is necessary, sir. They are going to be inducted for a short time, right? Short yes, sir. They are going to be inducted for a short time too. But still, uh, considering the uh, considering the numbers they are going to outplay on the at the frontiers, it is uh, it is a uh, it is much anticipated by the central government that they will be able to efficiently function, provided the proper training given to them, sir. So I think the Agnipat scheme is all. Uh, I hope NCC can do, NCC itself can do that, no? Yes, sir. Sir, so, NCC can train a can cadet uh, to, to, to become more disciplined and oriented towards a uh, secular outlook within, the, uh, with, within himself, sir. But to fight an enemy at the frontiers, the uh, training given at NCC, I don't think it is, it is on par with the armed personnel, sir. So, that needs a special training. Uh, uh, so, NCC can't uh, match up to that, sir, to that level, sir. Yes, sir. See, development and the environment always have a standoff, right? Yes, sir. In your perspective, do you think the eight lane that is proposed between Salem and Chennai? Yes. Uh, is it necessary? And is it environmentally feasible? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, the, the project of eight lane, uh, yes, sir, uh, considering the re, uh, near outcome, <coughs> sir, at the point, at considering that uh, this decade level, I thought we, we might see that it might, it is not a necessary uh, development project needed. But considering the future terms where the Salem district, the connectivity is from Salem to Chennai, sir. The Salem is also a, uh, also included in the defense corridor project, sir. And also Coimbatore is also included in the defense corridor. There are more trades coming up, textile industries coming up in these regions, sir. So the nearest port from these uh, areas are the Chennai ports, sir. So in the near future, after some few decades, we will, there will be uh, an exponential increase in the tariff connecting these areas, sir. So, if you are going to consider those things, the Salem 18 project is very much needed project, sir. Okay. See, if you have been appointed as a district collector, yes, sir. Salem district, yes, sir. What issue you will address at your priority? Yes, sir. The first I will address about the declining sex issue in the district of Salem, sir. Secondly, I will address about the uh, reducing literacy rate in the Salem district, sir. These two things are very much skewed in my uh, in my district, sir. First, I will address these two things, sir. Anything else related to agriculture? Sir, uh, there is also a uh, decline of a groundwater level in Salem also, sir. And also pollution of rivers in Salem, sir. Uh, these things it hinders the productivity of the agriculture, sir. So considering the agriculture, first, I will, uh, these uh, two things also I will, be able, I will address uh, these two, sir. This Dravidian model of development, which is focused on social justice and rational thinking. Yes, sir. Within this scheme, where you see reservation exceeding 70%? Overall reservation, if yes, it sir. exceeds 70% in state government, you know, employment, yes, then is it social justice and is it rational thinking? Means reinforcing the two. 
Yes, sir. Uh, the Tamil Nadu situation which is standing at 16%, uh, it is justified that the more number of people from the OBC sections are in Tamil Nadu, sir. And moreover, their representation is very much under, they are very much uh, low in the government, uh, gov in the public institutions, sir. So, uh, even any kind of reservations which are going to be, which are uh, about, which are in future also if we are going to make, must be based on proper facts, whether they are really underrepresented so that we are, we will be able to give them 69 percentage of reservation. Whether if the report states that it is very much needed, that uh, the reservation has to be exceeding more than 60 percent or some 70 percent, it will be very much needed, sir. But the recent times, the, uh, many of the reservations are being politicized, sir. So, uh, I think that uh, simply... Okay, do you think in this scheme we should create another 10% for economically weaker section from unreserved category as well? Yes, sir. So, considering the policy of reservations, from earlier times it is stated that it is not a poverty alleviation scheme, rather a, rather a scheme to improve the representation of the people, sir. Considering the uh, but at in center we have uh, introduced ten percent reservation for economically weaker section and yes, that sir. has with its root the scrutiny of Supreme Court as well. Yes, sir. Uh, re regarding the uh, I, 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 I my opinion differs from the uh, Supreme Court's opinion, but still I hold to the Supreme Court's opinion, sir. But still uh, considering economic as a criteria, sole criteria for uh, for uh, for giving the private reservations. Uh, I, I like I, I have a different opinion over that sir. Okay. But considering the uh, even in the economic weaker section in the central government, it it has stated that uh, the state governments have a differ, differ, differed opinion. So uh, it is it is one of the reasons that uh, the state government has not in, included the ten percent reservation. And also it stands uh, it stands according to the rational thinking also that uh, the. The economic weaker sections who are majorly dominated by, uh, which are which is which is concentrating on the dominating classes or the uh, uh, or the classes who are dominated from the early times, uh, they are well represented in the uh, public institution as well. So why do we need to give uh, them reservations when they are already over represented in the public institutions? So I think that providing an EWE uh, economically weaker section reservations will not uh, serve its uh, mark in in the state of Tamil Nadu, sir. Okay.